This model of sales regions was created entirely in Excel 2016 with no formulas and no macros. Let's see how. Northwind Sales Director wants to create four sales regions grouping countries with roughly the same sales revenue. The director requests two years of sales data by country to use in region determination. Sales data can be found in orders. Northwind's orders are kept in a database. Data for each order is stored in the header table and a detail table. Records for each order are linked by order number. The order header has a shipped date column, which we can use to select a two-year sample. The order header also has the ship to country, which the sales director will assign to regions. Amounts are kept in the order detail table, but the extended price is missing. We can create it by adding a column that multiplies price by quantity less discount and setting its data type to currency data so Excel will know it can be totaled. Let's link these tables by their order number. We only want records from the detail table that belong to orders we selected in the header table. An inner join selects only matching records. Inner join rejects records without a match in the other table. Merging creates another column in our order header with the order details hidden inside. We can expand it and aggregate the extended prices by order number and sum them. Let's rename this column and identify it as currency data. The only columns we need for our model are ship, country, and amount, so let's get rid of all else. We do not need this much detail, so let's group amounts by ship country and label the results sales. We now have two years of data revenue by country, which we can load into Excel. Excel can now hold data in cells or in the data model. We do not need both tables displayed in cells, so let's use option only create connection and add this data to the data model. And from the data model, load only our summary to an Excel table. This table needs a region column for Northwind Sales Director to set. Let's see how close each region's sales revenue is by adding a pivot table, summarizing sales by region. If we select the sales, we can see each region needs to average around $261,000. A chart will help visualize results better. Not very even, are they? So let's get rid of the regions and sort by sales. Starting with the country with the most sales, let's find another country to pair it with that will add up to 261,000. That's pretty close, so let's make them region one. We can select multiple sales values by holding down the control key as we click on sales. This group is near our target average, so let's make them region two. We continue this process with regions 3 and 4. Let's see how we did by refreshing our chart data. That looks worse. But wait, is it really worse? Our vertical axis has changed and now shows a much smaller range. With a little modification of our axis, we can paint a picture that reflects reality a bit closer. That looks pretty good. But we assigned regions based on sales amount. Does that make sense geographically? Let's use Excel's new 3D map to see. We can set the location to our ship country, the category to region, and the visualization to region. I don't want the legend, so let's delete it. We can also set the theme to our taste. We can't see everything at once, so let's animate our map starting over Europe. We will then jump to North America by adding a new scene. And then to South America with one more scene. We want our animation to move swiftly, so let's set the scene options to last 3 seconds and fly to the next scene in 2 seconds. Let's see what we have. So within a few minutes we have created a tool for Northwind Sales Director to structure sales regions without any formulas, without any macros, and using only what comes with Excel 2016.